Hello. 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 It's here. It's finally here, guys. We have the version 6.4.5 update notice. Uh, quick sneak preview, Tartarus Lab improvements. Skill previews for monsters and a better favorite slot for World Arena 2v2s. And, and, okay, that's cool, but and. You guys know what that is. All right, we'll go through it. We'll go through it all. Okay, so version update, Tartarus Labyrinth rewards improvement, hell difficulty time, time limit stage, and immemorial box has been added to the list of clear rewards. You can obtain either immemorial gem or grindstone. That is awesome that they're doing this. Um, I really like the upgrades to Tartarus Labyrinth. The rewards for Tartarus are generally pretty bad. Um, overall, not the greatest. There's a lot of better things that they could be doing. Uh, so that's nice that they're upgrading that. So before, uh, if you're doing these stages, they've increased the base rarity, basically, of what you're going to get. So no more blues for a lot of things. Uh, in some cases, no more greens. And now you'll be getting the blues. So that's pretty good. I'm happy that they're upgrading that, whether it's normal and hard stages or health stages. I am glad that they're buffing it, even if it maybe is just like a small buff. Um, I think this is cool. I don't think this is absolutely necessary, but it's fun and it allows people to kind of like explore and play around with the game more so a skill preview function allows you to like go check, check a monster out use what their skills and see what they look like i think it's cool and it'll be great for testing opportunities if we're unsure of like mechanics on how something works this will be a perfect opportunity to test the mechanics on units world arena improvement you can now register 40 monsters instead of 30 in favorite slot i think that's great there are a lot of monsters we build nowadays at higher tier uh 2v2 team battles a function where you can check monsters registered as favorites by your team member from the battle preparation pop-up has appeared I think that's nice because basically you have the opportunity to look through what people have now. So if you want to play 2v2 with someone, you can check speed tuning and stuff like that. It's it's more intuitive and it seems like it's less, like it's not overly intrusive. Uh, quality of life notification effect has been added to the chat icon to recognize when repeat battle has ended. I guess so. It does help. I play on my tablet. If you play on your phone, your phone does the little bzzz thing for you. So you're good. Uh, Rune artifact, the chat within the pop-up screen has improved so that one line of messages is notified. Yeah, not super important here. Uh, this is kind of cool. So other setting for games. Auto accept secret dungeons, I think is pretty cool. And auto decline 2v2s, auto decline goodwill battles. Uh, if you guys are wondering why this was added, there was a couple people who were spamming invites to a bunch of the female streamers in the Summer's Resort community. And it was really intrusive. And it was, honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it like it is. There were some people who were complete douchebags and really creepy. And all they wanted was attention. And it's just like, I'm glad that Calm to us decided, hey, we don't want to put up with that kind of harassment. We don't want to put up with that shit. I actually really like this because I don't like being spammed 2v2 invites either. So, or goodwill battles. So I'm quite glad that they had something like this. I think this is a step in the right direction for really like stopping annoying things that were unintended. So props to you, Calm to us. Good job. I think it was a really good job. Really good job. Uh, SWC 2021 exclusive special costume. Pog. Ellie is very cute as always. They are buffing the Defilmon special pack. So they're increasing the price from 20 to 30, which theoretically would be better for Huawei coins or Huawei coins. Huawei coupons, because the Huawei coupons, I believe the minimum are $30. But the interesting thing is they are adding an extra Devilmon and a little more crystals. So the value on this pack is actually pretty good now. They've increased the value overall and they've made it available for coupons for Huawei. So big positive from my side. Um, summoner's pack the $40 pack uh, basically gives you a little bit more now double the summoning stones is nice um, I still don't think this pack is super worth it generally you don't buy this unless you really want the summoning stones but there are many better packs to spend on now this is the one you guys want to know about limited time exclusive package SWC 21 2021 special pack now what is the SWC 2021 scroll you can freely select any of the fire, water, or wind attributes of the default four to five star monsters you want and summon one of them. You can select 12 monsters, six default five star monsters, and six default four star monsters with no attribute restrictions among the three attributes of fire, water, and wind. So this is essentially a six monster version of the seventh anniversary scrolls. However, this doesn't have any three star units. It's I believe a legendary scroll from what it looks like. 
um, but I can't confirm that. So when we see it in game, it might be a regular scroll like this that has a three star pool where the three stars could be anything. And then the four stars and five stars are selected, but I'm not hundred percent sure exactly how it's going to be. I assume that it's going to be a legendary scroll because that's how SWC scrolls have been in the past. But let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, obviously the monsters, only the monsters in unawakened form will be summoned collab monsters and fusion monsters. Ifrit and shadow claw will not be summoned. So you can't summon a collab unit. You cannot summon a Sigmaris or a Katarina or anything like that. And you cannot summon a Ryu or a M. Bison. However, you can summon the Water Striker or the Fire uh, Slayer, for example. So the Carnal or more. Those are completely allowed. Fix an issue of the game crashing intermittently when the game is played on in iOS 15. I'm glad I never update my tablet. Feels okay, man. Uh, but I know a lot of people were, were dealing with that spinning wheel of death, which is pretty unfortunate there. Um, game text modification, Battlegrounds. The title of the 27th mock battle has been changed from Strength of the Sea Tribe to Wisdom of the Volcanic Tribe. Okay. The name of the scroll that was added to the game to celebrate SWC 2020 has been changed from SWC Special Scroll to SWC 2020 Scroll. Okay, makes sense. Monster bug fixes. All attributes totemists. Fix an issue of the totem stacking up from the counterattack and attacking together. That is perfect because the intention of the totemists was that they would only get it when they took damage or if they attacked on their turn. So now uh, the counterattack revenge as well as the dam uh, attacking together will no longer stack. That's a good change. I'm glad they fixed that. Light totemist fix an issue of the skill getting affected by the cooldown time increasing decreasing skill. Yeah, so anything that increases or decreases your cooldowns. Uh, or sorry, anything that resets your cooldowns is not supposed to be, or anything that would ventilate, uh, let's go with Gany terms, ventilate or illusion of time your cooldowns is not supposed to be affected by cooldown increasing or decreasing skills. Glad they're fixing that as well. Uh, there's a fix on the two-way water war bear with crouch with the, um, the heal on the skill too. And wind demon, fix an issue with the monsters unable to revive due to the passive effect would revive with the attack bar they had before their death when wind demon died or has oblivion state. I am glad they have fix this it was kind of a weird interaction uh not everyone got the chance to see it so uh if i could find a clip i'll throw it in there but if not then hopefully uh i'm glad that things are getting fixed because there's some weird bugs let me know what you guys think i think the swc scrolls this year are pretty good i don't think they made them too overpowered i do think that the seventh year anniversary scrolls are pretty overpowered um but this is a good change to them and i think that overall this is really good uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you did watch the video all the way to the end down to here right now, keep in mind, I will be putting up a video giveaway. Uh, there's going to be a couple cool requirements on it, but we got a couple really cool giveaways uh, coming up soon throughout this month on my YouTube, on my Twitter, on my Instagram, and my Twitch. I will put all the links to my socials below. Make sure you follow them and check it out. Also, I really look forward to seeing you guys on SWC Finals on, I believe it is November 12th. If you're East Coast, it should be November 13th, but... I hope you guys enjoy the show, and I really, really hope that you guys have enjoyed my casting as well as Degon's hosting and Stoics casting. I we work really hard for it, and I'm just very honored and very lucky. Luckily, <laughs> I'm stammering because I'm nervous when I talk about SWC, but uh, I'm really honored to have this opportunity to live out my dream as a caster here. So I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch all of the games as well as give me feedback on things. It does mean a lot to me, and I'm really happy that we could bring a good SWC to you guys this year. And I hope that we finish off really well as well. So thank you guys very much for everything. If you haven't already subscribed, click it below. It'd be great to have you. And I will see you guys in the next video.